Welcome to this cricketing masterclass. I'm Mike Atherton. I'm here with former West Indies fast bowler Ian Bishop, and we're going to talk about the art of swing bowling. Bish, let's put it down to its fundamentals, what a bowler's looking to do. Well, in white ball cricket, obviously, uh, batsmen are going to be going hard at the ball as often as they are allowed to. So what a bowler is trying to do is to try to get the ball to deviate laterally, whether that's through the air or through the air and on pitching as well in either direction. OK, that's what they're looking to do. How do they go about doing that? What are the most important features of swing bowling? There are a number of ways that a bowler can go about swinging the ball, and it's, it, it's probably relative to the person themselves, but the fundamental of it is in order to try to get the ball to shape this way. You're tilting the seam. For me, both fingers at the top, the thumb just below, and getting the release of the ball with the palm facing the target like that, keeping the seam upright. If you're talking about going on the inside edge, you're just shifting the seam around and you're going the other way with the hand coming down slightly towards the outside of the ball. OK, well, let's look at a couple of examples. First of all, the outswinger from Matt Henry, New Zealand's fast bowler, Matt Henry. Just the point at which he's released the ball, you can see the seam position and you're looking to get that ball on a length that would create the most doubt against a batsman, whether that's full in this case or whether you pull the length back to get past the outside edge. And notice how late it swings as well. You don't want the ball swinging too early because good batters will see it. And your shop so look at the fingers just slightly coming down the left of screen. Great seam position as well, so important. The ball very rarely swings if you don't have a good rudder as it tracks down. Why do people say that the ball should be released late off the tip of the fingers? And that's important, Michael, that's a good point, because when you say late, you're looking to get as much backspin on the ball so the seam actually, as it goes down, is spinning back towards you to create that rudder to help it to stay upright. And that's why the wrist flick is so important just at that point of release to keep the fingers pulling down the back. Gone! Yeah, spot on, Mitchell Stark. This is what he does, probably better than anybody else in the world. Looks to hit the stumps, gets it full, gets it straight. There's that swing back in. That is a beauty from Mitchell Stark. Well, one of the great uh, fast bowlers who can also swing the ball is, is the Australian Mitchell Stark. Um, the challenge that he presents to the batters is twofold, really. One, the pace, but equally the ability to move the ball both ways on the angle, first of all, to the right-hander. If we have a look at Mitchell Stark here, what he's trying to do is push the ball at pace and getting the batter reaching for the ball outside the off-stump. All the while, he knows he's got that fast in-swinger to come, uh, and that is the surprise ball, a lethal in-swinging delivery from Mitchell Stark. Um, deception, Bish, is absolutely vital. Let's talk about Bhuvaneshwar Kumar, one of the great swing bowlers today, who manages to get the ball moving both ways with minimal change of action. Great wrist position for Bhuvaneshwar. And as you say, he's not quick, he's not of Mitchell Stark's pace, but he gets the ball on a length that we, we talk about whether you're creating a defensive shot out of the batter or whether you're creating an attacking opportunity so just with the subtle manipulations of the wrist onto what we term a good length so that batters cannot just hit through the line of the ball like this, there is some lateral movement. It creates wicket-taking opportunities or it creates dot balls which are quite important in ODI and white ball cricket. One of the great swing bowlers of the day, Bhuvaneshwar Kumar, magnificent bowler to watch, as is swing bowling more generally, one of those skills that we want to encourage. 